So we are joined on Brook at High FM by Ron Corn and its manager Dave Wild. Dave, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, there's 52 people listening, so uh, make sure that you are articulate as always. Um, hi, hi Mum. The winning feeling is back. How's it feel? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm bored of saying the same stuff, but it's just a win again. Um, that's why I don't get too down when we get beat. Um, I've said I'm going to continue saying that we're a good side. I'm um, not going to be silly with sort of turnover of players and stuff so um, yeah, we, I, we were always going to win another game um, so yeah, I'm just happy that we're in the quarter final now and uh, on to play Macclesfield Yeah you brought some of the younger lads in tonight Lewis Holden Macaulay Clifton who was brilliant um, Louis, Louis Hayes who put in another display how would you fit on obviously today's man of the match as well Malik got himself a, a, a double what did they bring sort of different to what we've seen over the last couple of weeks I just think obviously with us having a little bit of a poor patch in terms of results and performances I just think giving the younger lads an opportunity to sort of freshen it up a little bit put a bit of pressure on the likes of uh, uh, the experienced players in the camp um, you know we've got a lot of lads out on dual regs now like Lou Holden and Macri who are both out at Lower Breck and doing well um, so they need to come in and sort of understand what we are as a, a club and a squad and, and I think they've all come in and done that well tonight I'm really happy for um Malik, um, I think he, it took him 10-15 minutes to sort of settle into the pace of the game and uh, as soon as he did that I think everyone can see the, the talent that we've brought in from Cliverow so um, yeah he's got a bright future for us um, yeah he's exciting, I don't want to blow him up too much though <laughs> because uh, I've done that before but you know that look at Jamie there as well talking about the young lads is ja Jamie in a dream world, we didn't really want to use him in this competition um, and sort of helping developing the um, technical area for the first part of his sort of transition into management and uh, you know what happened to Brookie on Saturday he uh, he's jumped in and, and just got his 20th goal of the season so um, you know we've got to look right through the squad we're in, a, we're in a good place I think you know looking back on the last month we've not won games I think if we're honest everybody when I got the job um, would have took the position that we're in uh, on January the what we are now 10th, 10th yeah January the 10th I certainly would um, so I don't know why people you know, there's been a little bit of panic and chaos to be honest on social media and um, you know some of the stuff I've heard sort of whispers and, and stuff like that the ground it's uh, it's crazy I just you know we'll lose again this season and we'll win again this season so just got to knuckle down and make sure that we're in that in that playoff mix yeah back into league action on Saturday how do we take the performance from tonight obviously I'm sure there'll be changes as there always is in football how do we take the performance from tonight and the sort of motivation to get the win on Saturday yeah look our lads have got a, they've got a self motivate if we're going to be genuinely contenders and, and push for a promotion this season which we are um, they've got a self motivate I think you know a lot of people who I know well who sort of come to the games um, and, and watchers have said to me recently that I'm not as animated or I'm not screaming and shouting but I don't give as much information out during the games that's something I'm purposely trying to do um, because players have got to self-motivate and, and sort of gene themselves up in the tough patches and I think we've started to see that again tonight uh, I think the leaders led Sam Heathcote Sean Shorty when he come on um, and we've just got to take that into, into the lead now it's a good opportunity to sort of get back on the um upward slope if you want <laughs> upward slope was the word on the upward climb and you know listen if we don't beat Hanley we'll go again the week after it just at some point we'll win and we'll, and we'll get back on another run um, we'll be absolutely fine yeah just before we let you go Ryan Brook obviously you mentioned he got that knock on Saturday obviously out tonight through pro protocol of, of concussion is he yeah. going to be good for Saturday uh, I hope so um, he's training on Thursday with uh, Josh the physio he's going to be like a bit of a light session and putting through one or two bits but um He's here tonight, he's watched the game. Um, said he was still a little bit groggy when I spoke to him a couple of days ago, but uh, yeah, touch wood, he'll be okay, fingers crossed. Perfect, well, enjoy the rest of your week, Dave, and we'll speak to you on Saturday. Yep, cheers. Cheers, mate, thank All you. Awesome.